patient is a good candidate for immunotherapy treatment if he or she has been diagnosed with one of these cancers, non-small cell lung cancer, malignant melanoma, kidney cancer, head and neck squamous cell cancer, bladder cancer, or classical Hodgkin lymphoma. The cancers need to have spread except for melanoma. Immunotherapy is approved for early stage treatment in melanoma, but not in other cancers at this time. Here are four commonly used immunotherapy drugs, Yervoy, Optivo, Keytruda, and Tecentric. Yervoy works to stimulate the immune system to find the cancer. It was the first immune checkpoint inhibitor to be approved based upon its ability to prolong survival in patients with metastatic melanoma. All four of these immunotherapy drugs work to stimulate the immune system by blocking various proteins. When the proteins are blocked, the immune system is unleashed to kill the cancer. Now let's talk about which drugs are used to treat particular cancers. In non-small cell lung cancer, Keytruda can be used either as the initial treatment or after traditional chemotherapy doesn't work. Opdivo and Tecentric can be used after traditional chemotherapy doesn't work either. In malignant melanoma, the drug Yervoy can be used by itself or in combination with Opdivo for treatment of patients with unresectable melanoma. Yervoy can also be used after surgery for high-risk melanoma patients. Opdivo and Keytruda can be used individually in the initial treatment of advanced or metastatic melanoma. For the treatment of kidney cancer, Opdivo can be used if the cancer gets worse after treatment with a blood vessel interfering drug, also known as anti-angiogenic treatment. In head and neck squamous cell cancer, both Opdivo and Keytruda can be used after the failure of traditional chemotherapy for advanced or metastatic disease. In bladder cancer, both Opdivo and Tecentric can be used after the failure of traditional chemotherapy. Tecentric may also be used for patients who have had a cancer recurrence after traditional chemotherapy and surgery. In classical Hodgkin lymphoma, Opdivo can be used after all other standard therapy is exhausted. Patients may have opportunities to participate in clinical trials of immunotherapy treatments. So if you have been diagnosed with cancer, always check with your doctor to see if you would be eligible to participate in a research study. Not everyone is a good candidate for immunotherapy. For some patients, immunotherapy is too risky because they may have a greater chance of a life-threatening side effect. For example, patients who are in very poor health or who suffer from active autoimmune disease. Immunotherapy cancer treatment is a scientific breakthrough that gives us all hope that one day we won't see cancer anymore.